people pick cotton and try to love each other, there'll be the blues. Big Bill Brunsey said that a long time ago. Brunsey would have felt right at home the other night at Mabel's in Fort Worth when Robert Ely sang the blues. Mix it up there yeah. once in a while. If they want to hear it, I just give it to them. I just play just whatever they want to play. How long you been playing? Oh, about blues. 20, 25 years. So you started out in Dallas? And, yeah, I started. Uh, I started in 1949. Then I've been playing blues all the way through. Jazz, whatever you keep me going out. I got it for who, uh, who, what musicians have influenced you? Well, we started out at Booker Chillin' Boys. And we named ourselves And we uh, carried it on from there. And then we got busted up. And I came to Fort Worth. We got with a boy called uh, F.E. Franks. We all got together later. You, you got busted up, was that the tornado? Yeah. yeah. In uh, in Dallas, in, in Dallas, in the Dallas, 50, 51? About 51, 52, somewhere like that. How'd that bust you up, uh, bust up the place you were playing? Playing, playing there. So, then when we started coming to Fort Worth, we moved to Fort Worth, and we played for over at the Ruby Children Playhouse. Uh, Where's that now? Over at uh, about the hill.
students from across town come to Mabel's now to groove on Robert's blues, and of course the people from the neighborhood. Robert said he'd made up a whole barrel full of songs himself. But he said somebody out there must still be picking cotton and trying to love each other, because the people still want to hear the old timey blues most of all. He drove all the way from New York. I mean, he drove all the way from New York. Get how much, what time he got here. How many, tell, how many hours he made in it? He made one minute and five seconds. From New York City to hear me sing this number for And I mean, he drove a hard night. You know, he must have been flying, wasn't he? <laughs> The things that I used to do. Lord, I won't do it no more. The things that I used to do. Lord, I won't do it no more. Robert's been singing these same blues now for more than 20 years. He was singing them when Elvis and Chuck got rich and famous on them. And now another generation of kids are listening to them. Robert said he wouldn't mind a bit if he got a little of the gravy this time. But whatever happens, Robert will keep on singing the blues. You see, that's what he does. Thank you. 